going, everybody? It's me, Brother Tony Midnight. With uh, I was about to say KKU eighty eight point five FM. That's the call letters to my radio station. But uh, no, it's me, Brother Tony Midnight. With Midnight Movie House 07 with my uh, my birthday haul. Yeah, basically I have a whole bunch of movies here that I purchased. And these are all purchases I made with my tax returns. And it's all gone now. <laughs> one being one of the biggest purchases right here. Which I'll be saving for the last. First off, um, one... Piece of purchase, some media purchase here, a magazine. I think this is the latest. Is this the latest issue? This is issue January, February of uh, Horror Hound hash, uh, hashtag number 92. Um, I thought this was discontinued, but when I went down to Barnes and Nobles, I was looking through the horror stack and I'm like, you know, there's a whole bunch of horror magazines, there's scary movies, there's Rue Morgue, there's Fangoria, which for some dumb reason is like freaking $20 now an issue. What? The only recent issue that I purchased like last year when uh, The Hunt came out and uh, um, um, on Friends Online uh, on Instagram with Sylvia Grace Krim who is in The Hunt for a smidgen of a second there, you know, a couple of minutes, but uh, her, her character is memorable because she gets uh, blown in half and she's still alive while she's blown in half and like... Just one half of her body is uh, left. But uh, I got this magazine, Horror Hound. Um, it's uh, showcasing Scream. But in it, there's like a whole bunch of like, there's a big article on Mass, you know, Mass Through the Ages, Don Post, uh, Ben Cooper, uh, Rubies, Collegeville Costumes, uh, Distortion. Distortion, I remember that uh, Distortion. Unlimited, I believe, is uh, they had their own um, reality show on Travel Channel where they featured all the creatures that they created in their workshop. They're very famous for their um, what creature is that? Not creature, but uh, their uh, what is it? The, the, the death row, death row, uh, the electrocution chair. Yeah, the electric chair. They're shaking like that. So, I bought a magazine for my birthday. Awesome. Very cool. They're sticking out there. I'm going to cut my hair. Uh, let's go into the physical media here. Some movies. Uh, the only uh, non-violent or horrific Blu-ray that I have to start off the haul is this. The Little Mermaid. It's still... In the wrapper, I haven't opened it up. It's the Diamond Edition. Uh, I know a lot of people are not purchasing physical media for Disney anymore because they all have Disney Plus. I know there's a lot of uh, physical media falling into the, uh, the the Goodwill and or Salvation Army or uh, you know your used bookstores that take in movies. A lot of them are ending up there or not in a trash heap somewhere because. Sometimes the discs become hockey puck, but this one is brand new. And I'm real happy about it to add to my um, little Disney Blu-ray, you know, collection that I have right now. Uh, the next two movies on DVD that I have, um, seemingly enough, one features somebody that's in the news recently. Um, but first off, uh, Tupac and... Uh, Tupac and what's this in here? Omar Epps, uh, Jimmy Hopkins, Khalil King, Juice. This is a classic one. I like this one more than I like uh, uh, Boys in the Hood. I mean, I like Boys in the Hood, but I like Juice more because it's East Coast. The soundtrack is badass. Uh, Queen Latifah is in it. You know, it's uh, uh, it's just the coolest hip hop movie. Plus, it's a a Thriller, a drama thriller. Got that going for a Tupac being like a psycho that goes freaking psycho and stuff like that. And I never did check the disc though when it came in. Ah, looks clean. Very cool. But yeah, Juice, I grew up watching this movie. It's a great movie. 
I like that one. Now. Chris Rock and CB4, the movie. It's a little parody movie based on uh, NWA. Yeah. Slap. <laughs> what the hell, Will Smith? That's crazy, right? You guys, you guys seen it? it, it wow. Can't believe it. So, yeah, again, this is all movies that I got uh, in preparation of well, everything, not in preparation of anything, but uh, for my birthday. A uh, nice chunk of the, the last of my, after, you know, giving money to the family, helping pay the bills, stuff like that, whatever I had left. I went on a full-on movie shopping spree. Um, the last of it was yesterday with, um, I got this one. Where's the other Blu-ray that I got? I got this Blu-ray yesterday. So this one is from yesterday. I went Walmart. I went shopping at Walmart. Did not realize that this was available um, in the cheap bin. I was like looking in the 374 cheap bin and it's the Kind of like pseudo remake or a sequel to Wrong Turn, it's the Wrong Turn series. So I got that one on DVD. Didn't get it on Blu-ray. It wasn't available on Blu-ray for some reason. Walmart doesn't keep those things. I got uh, the Cleansing House, a Shutter exclusive. Haven't heard anything about this. this. Is a blind buy actually. So I got that. <sighs> Finally found a copy with its slip cover. Now this has been off and on on the shelf at in there, off and on off the shelf, on the shelf or in the bins at Walmart. Finally found it again seven fifty seven fifty for this Blu-ray, but um, at seven fifty I picked it up. I'm like, you know, I have to have this in my collection. Um, I do have like the only other Cronenberg movie I have is the the remake of The Fly. Yeah, I know. I gotta get scanners. I gotta get video drone. What else did he make? Conan bring me some other stuff too, like some of the crazy ass movies. Um, I, know, I know I gotta grab a bunch of Conan Bird movies, so. But I got shivers. Awesome. I found that. So I found those at Walmart. I got this in the mail from uh, somebody that I purchased a portable DVD player from. So, let me read the card for you guys. I don't know. What do you think? Should I do something about this? Did the person some way scam me or something? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I wanted to order. I wanted a portable DVD player so I can watch my DVDs in the company of my room alone. And because um, it's one of the horror movies that I have. The content is just too extreme to be watching in the living room with my family. But uh, here's the guy, Tony. I apologize for the prolonged shipping time for your DVD player. Thank you for being patient and a pleasure to work with. Included is a small gift of appreciation and a belated birthday gift. Belated, belated. My birthday is not till tomorrow at 10:41. Grand Effects. So it's kind of like a birthday video. But uh, yeah, he gave me this horror movie collection. It's got Waxworks, 976 Evil 2, uh, Ghoulies 3. Chud 2, which I don't think has an official DVD or Blu-ray release, right? Chud 2. I know Chud does. Uh, Chopping Mall, Slaughter, High, Class of 1999, and Unholy. So, uh, thank you, but I would still like to have my DVD player. It's a portable one, so. I want it. I want to watch my movies. Um, I watched the Blu-ray stuff in the living room. I'm not going to watch this one, but luckily enough, it comes with it. Oh, no. It's only... I can use the digital. I can watch the digital on my phone. I uh, got this one in the mail as well. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. This one I was waiting a long time for. I was hoping and praying that it would come in, and boom, here it is. kind of showed up on the weekend. I was popping. I was like looking through my mail going, wow, what is this? So is this is the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Digibook. They did release a Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on Blu-ray, like regular and on DVD. But I wanted the Digibook. Um, it's used, but the discs are still freaking immaculate. 
and I think the person just opened it to get the digital stuff out of here. So I think it came with digital. I don't know, but it's a cool booklet. Lots of cool stuff in there. Look at that. There is no Dana, only Zoo. Um, you want some coffee, Mr. Kelly? Yes, have some. Yes, have some. So happy to have that in my collection. Uh, that would complete it. I have Ghostbusters one and two. I have uh, Ghostbusters answer the call, an extended cut, which is better. But I kind of like the theatrical stuff because they did leave out the owl uh, that was loud joke from four. They have left it out from the extended cut. This one came in the mail as well. This was brand new. The only thing that was missing is apparently a lot of people like to buy these movies and then like just take out the digital copy and use that as, you know, and sell the physical copy online. It's, this is a lot cheaper to have purchased this online than um, bought it in the store because this double feature in the store is 30 bucks. I got it. $14 online that includes shipping and handling so finally gonna check out the quiet uh, I've seen the quiet place I haven't seen part two so I'm excited to check that one out as well I have the entire insidious collection now I have this one I showed part two in a previous video like a couple videos ago Two or three or four, I don't know how many videos ago, but I bought this a while back. So I have the I have the stiffles. I have the stiffles. I got in series three, chapter three, right there. And the last key. So I physically have all three. I only to buy them in a stupid collection. And Blu-rays are just stacking up there. And um, this last Blu-ray here that I got online, I got this one. Um, a lot of these are all eBay purchases. I got it from eBay sellers. And uh, it's really cool because they, they straight up just emailed it. Not emailed it. They mailed it out and it came. It's fast shipping. It was here in like so under a week. So I got all of this insidious stuff and I got this one. I do have Halloween Kills. I watch Halloween Kills. So I bought the, um, the first Halloween on DVD. I have the, well, not on DVD, on Blu ray and DVD digital. But I do have the other Halloween. I gotta have to find that one and resell it if I can find it because it's hidden in my room. I do have this movie already, but it's on DVD and I don't need it anymore because I have the Blu ray. I, I've upgraded. But it has a DVD in it already, so. Tantaran. Awesome stuff. Other movies you gotta get on Blu ray. The Ouija and Ouija. Oh, I have that on DVD. I don't need that one. The Purge 4 movie collection. That's the next one I gotta get. Plus uh, Forever Purge, unless they have released it with Forever Purge already. Don't know. Gotta wait and see. Now on to the unboxing. This is a long video, everybody. I got this one from the Horror Pack. Um, they're having a sale. I didn't get a Horror Pack, but they were having a sale, and I bought a couple of uh, movies from the Horror Pack people. Let's cut this over open. I'll cut my hand on here. Open sesame. Oh, it's still in the mirror. Wow. You have it in the mailer. Okay. Wait, three? I only ordered two movies. What did they give me? Oh, okay. So I ordered three. I thought I ordered two. Okay, so science fiction wise, I have Space Hunter Adventures in the Forbidden Zone with Molly Ringwald and um, Peter Strauss, wherever that is. I just remember uh, my, um, Michael Ironside is in it and he's like really creepy looking in this movie. He plays like some kind of freaking some kind of uh, wasteland alien thing. So 
I remember seeing this as a kid. I'm like, this is like, it's a kind of weird science fiction, Mad Max on another planet kind of deal. So, yeah. Space Hunter, Molly Ringwald, old school. I got this movie. It's called um, Blood Fest. Love horror, love horror movies. Try surviving one. It's about a bunch of kids that um, try to survive uh, a night in horror movie land. I guess they go to a party, and all of a sudden, all types of horror creatures pop out. Yeah. So blood fest. Can't figure out is that the kid from Spider Man? Is that the kid? Jacob Bat Batalon, Batalon, the Filipino boy from Spider Man Homecoming, <laughs> far, far from home and <laughs> no way home. I was like, what? So, my, my cousin will be interested in watching this because she, uh, she's a fan of Spider Man. She likes that guy. He's a cool Filipino dude, man. He really is. A Filipino dude that made it. And then this last one from Horror Pack is A Night in the Woods. Flying by. Never heard anything about it. I know it's, like, it's a kind of a Blair Rich Project kind of deal. So interested in checking that one out. So cool. From Horror Pack. When you get those sales, you guys gotta look out for those sales because you can pick stuff up automatically, individually. You know, pop it in a box, you know, it actually look like you're ordering a horror pack kind of deal. So awesome. Last but not least, the Piece de Resistance, I can speak French. Bonjour, pour les fous en français. I can't speak French, it's a little bit. You should learn French. It's a beautiful language, it really is. It's a language of love. Maybe that'll work out for me finally, I'll find love as I learn French. Bonjour, mm, oh, ho, ho. Bon croissant, de baguette. <laughs> What? This is from Synapse Films. This is the big one. This is this was like fifty bucks to order, and uh, this is the big purchase for me. I will not make any other bigger purchases like this. Maybe not until next year around my birthday. If there's something I like, maybe some kind of special edition steelbook arrow feature. Or one of those more expensive arrow features that they have on there. Nice! Double pack. Let's pop it. Can I pop it? Got pop. Is that loud? <laughs> Here's the invoice from Synapse. Couple managers there. Synapse. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, so this is one of my favorite uh, slashy movies besides from the regular franchises that was out in the 80s. This movie came out in the last, like the last heyday of the, I guess, the slasher craze, you know. People wasn't getting into slasher a lot. I mean, Candyman, later on, you know, there's, there's still some Friday the 13th, there's still some Nightmare on Elm Street that happened, and, but there are just, like, between the early 90s and the late 90s, there was a big, like, uh, what slasher movie? We don't like slashers anymore. But this one, this one, this one, it really caught my eye. This one came out in 91. It's the year my sister was born. I remember seeing this on the new release section of the video store. This is when you get the new releases, $1.99 for two days. You rent it on the weekend. I never seen the case for it. You get the skeleton moving the the face mask away. I'm like, what is that? Rented it, took it home, got scared. <sighs> and just became a big fan after that. Popcorn. <laughs> My God, yes. I got it. This is like the first full price steel book purchase I've ever made. 
in my life. Maybe later on, I will be getting into more steel book, per, steel book purchases. I do have a couple steel books in my collection. I got like Super 8, I got Suspiria, I got Shaun of the Dead, but this is like the legitimate one that I paid full price for because a lot of those were either on sale or second hand. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Popcorn. I love this movie so friggin' much. This is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Oh my god. This is the movie itself. Is this a DVD? Oh, this is a DVD copy. It's a DVD and a Blu-ray. DVD copy. See, like, that's the VHS cover right there. Got the Blu-ray. We got the DVD copy. We got a little booklet over here. Synapse Films catalog. 2017 catalog. I wonder if it's still... Uh... Wow. Ooh. Hmm. That's pricey. We got the little booklets in here. Little booklets. Skinner. That's one of the name. The name for it in Germany. I think it's German. Name for the movie Skinner. Yeah, I I am so stoked. I'm so happy. I like that little artwork inside there. Where's the artwork on that piece inside? Let me look here. Let me look. Let's take a look at the cover on the inside. Oh, it's the clock. When the, when the clock strikes, like, what, like 9 o'clock or something, if the blood will bleed out, and it's time to be in the theater to watch that movie. You guys, this is the most awesome freaking purchase ever in my life. I am grinning ear to ear. That's how I grin. This is so cool. So, there it is. Happy birthday to me. It's the best birthday present I ever gave myself in ever. Popcorn on Steelbook. I love it. I dig it. So that's it for this episode of uh, Rada 20 Midnight's Hall. The birthday hall. The big birthday hall. That's it. I gotta get back to work. Aloha.